So we're going to be taking a look at Eclipse with Fragment Gun 12 and 8. And yes, this did cost me a lot of acoins and a lot of credits, much more than I would care to mention. <laughs> um, part of the reason that I wanted to do this on the live server, which is what I'm on right now, uh, right now as opposed to the test server, is because they gave us Eclipse on the test server maxed. And I kind of want to show it at rank 6, not at max. Uh, the fragment gun is just for the sake of argument. I will try it with other things as well, though, because these are rare weapons. Obviously, they're not going to be the best. Okay. So we got a bunch of bots, which is kind of nice because, uh, you know, again, not the best build in the world. Really don't want to have to deal with people spamming EM rifles on me immediately. Uh, so that's at least kind of nice. The stealth, obviously, on this guy, not fantastic. It's not very useful, right? Stealth is just kind of meh. Um, what's really good is the debuff thing. So while this guy is... Oh, crap. <laughs> You're lucky. While this guy is in stealth, it does not uh, get affected by EMP or any of these other things which is great specifically the EMP right because as I've said before EMP is such a crucial part of this game's meta just in general oh god okay well I'm dead and having things that are like you know a counter to EMP you know previously before Redeemer counters to EMP didn't exist. It was just like, you know, just try to get as far away from it as possible. Hopefully they won't have a range implant and stun you, is basically the extent of that. Um, but having like legitimate EMP counters in terms of mechs or, you know, maybe in the future weapons as well, that just makes it better because EMP is a really dumb mechanic. Uh, I think they could have done it a lot better, but you know, having counters to it are obviously going to be really nice. Owie! Yep. She saw that coming. So yeah, with all of the uh, Bastions and Surges running around, because uh, even though, you know, you're not dealing with Zephyrs anymore, and the EMP time is significantly reduced, your survival time is also significantly reduced, so if you get EMP'd, you're pretty much guaranteed dead. Uh, and yeah, with, uh, you know, every player and every bot having at least a Surge, and probably a Bastion too, that just makes it even harder, that was on me, to, you know, actually survive against it. And especially Bastion, where, you know, you can't get close without getting EMP'd. You can't pop the shield without getting EMP'd. Uh, you really can't bait the EMP, right? Because uh, it's entirely dependent on what you do about it. Uh, and so something like that is just really hard to deal with. And having a mech like um, Eclipse that is basically a dedicated EMP counter or bastion popper, if you will, <laughs> could be extremely valuable. Now, there's a note to make on this mech just in general. And I think, for as much as it pains me to say it, <laughs> I think that they actually made this mech pretty well. Uh, I know, I'm not exactly a, someone who tends to <laughs> compliment Plarium now, am I? But... In terms of a like a close range mech, now obviously people are going to run this with EM rifles because who wouldn't? EM rifle is just the weapon to use on anything. But this is going to work very well as a close range build, particularly because it can get close without getting EMP'd or uh, any of these other slew of things. Now obviously it can get crashed by a Guardian, which is unfortunate. Uh, let's try... The next thing, Sorax. Okay. 
So let's try Missile Rex on this. Probably won't work as well, but, uh, or well. But yeah, the um, specifics of the ability make it built very nicely for close range combat. And that's something that we're Three, really, really two, missing in this game. One, quite honestly. Go. Is close quarters combat. There's very little reason to get up close. Especially since, you know, with the exception of beacons, there's nothing pushing you to be like, okay, we need to get close to this guy. Because, like, you know, everything's just sniper-based damage gameplay. Um, if you get close, you're just going to get ruined by some fool's ability. Uh, or, you know, put yourself in range of lots of enemies or lots of weapons. And it's just generally not a great idea. But this guy makes it uh, at least a little bit better of an idea, which is kind of nice, honestly. And I would say this is probably going to be an endgame mech that most players are going to want to have, simply for that reason. Uh, a lot of people use Redeemer because it can escape EMP, because once again, EMP is just like such a game-changing uh, effect that being able to counter it is fantastic. Uh, and that's the main reason that people use Redeemer, right? And so I think for the same reason, people probably will be using Eclipse. I do not want to be out like this, do I? Oh, come on. That's annoying. Uh, I'll just wait here. He's doing donuts, he'll be fine. But yeah, that's my prediction. Obviously, it's not solid, <laughs> necessarily. I can't say I understand this game as well as I used to. But, you know, just based off what has happened in the past, probably is going to happen again. And am I against it? No, not really. And the main reason is just because we already know that, that basically Macarena is telling players, hey... We want experienced players to only be using Legendary Max. Which is like, okay, that's fine if we have a, you know, a substantial or adequate number of Legendary Max to choose from, which we don't. So any new Legendary Max that they add, that's going to be nice. Uh, simply for, you know, the reason of that it's a Legendary Max. Gives people more variety. I'm not gonna say that it's gonna necessarily solve anyone's problems, but it'll be a, a nice addition to the legendary mech roster, I'm sure. Uh, if I had to guess how much it would cost in the new progress system, probably about as much as um, surge costs at the moment. It's not really based on anything apart from just the fact that it's legendary. Uh, legendary scout, I should say. So yeah, probably like around 10,000 acorns, which is, you know, obviously no small number. Whether that's fair or not, I couldn't say. It's entirely dependent on whether or not they give people or give players more ways to earn acorns, you know. Which, like, part of me thinks they will, part of me thinks they won't. But, yeah, I don't know yet. Nobody knows yet. Ow. It doesn't seem, like, particularly unbalanced to me, which is nice. But, you know, then again, I haven't been using it for that long. And I don't even have it maxed out yet. So, this is just, like, rank 6 random gameplay. Okay. Uh, I think all bots again. I mean, it's nice for the sake of the videos, but... Uh, no, high cycles. My bad. I think I do that. I'm pretty sure I've played against this player before. Not sure why I thought it was a bot. 
Anyway, yeah, this it, it seems strong against EMP mechs because their main strength is typically just, you know, the fact that they have EMP. And EMP is just kind of really stupid. Um, but it seems kind of weak against other things. Oh my goodness, this guy's gonna kill me, isn't he? Yeah. There's nothing really stopping this guy from killing me. Except for Broski over here, apparently. Uh, ooh. I forget my, um... I don't have, like, ability implants on this pilot, really. Not good ones, anyway. So I need to be a little bit more careful. My ability doesn't last as long. I think it has the same cooldown and duration as Shadow, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't take, like, a detailed look at the stats, because uh, I don't care that much, let's be honest. But what I did notice and what I do enjoy is that the... Uh, the effect negation is not based on its rank. It will negate all effects during the ability regardless of what rank it is. And that's not what happened with Redeemer, so I was fully expecting that to not happen with this guy either. But it did, and that's nice. Oh, I'm dead, yeah, okay. Carbine 10 does not have ample damage output, it would appear. <laughs> and that's why I use the homing. <laughs> it's so much more satisfying than the damn damage radius. He's gonna go over here, isn't he? Like, why wouldn't he? Yeah. Did high cycles leave the match? He's over there. Yes, he left the match. Okay. Good for me, I guess. I don't know. I don't understand what's happening. Bye. Works for me. Ow! Okay. Yeah, stasis fumes don't do anything. Let me, uh... Yeah, he just did a... Friggin' 360. That's probably an EM rifle build, so I'm not going to push that. Rule of thumb, if you see a player, he's probably using EM rifles, because all players do that. Run. Yep, he was using Yam rifles. <laughs> okay, Nemo is definitely a player. Uh, let's hope he doesn't have anything great, but he probably has at least two Yam rifle builds, because everyone does. Uh, that said, let's go minigun style. Oh, goodness. Yep. Bye. No likey. Do not appreciate. No appreciado. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Fire. He's gonna shoot at me, because even though he could just shoot at the guy that's right in front of him, he's not going to. We already knew that. Uh, same goes for this guy, honestly, so I'm gonna go that's right. My my 8 does not have the range that my 12 does, does it? Oop. That's annoying. What can we do about it? Probably nothing. Uh, yep, okay.
Nope. I think I'd rather go away. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, come on, I tried so hard. <sighs> oh, well. I mean, this guy is, yeah, he's using EM rifle. Who would have thought? Definitely not me, I wouldn't have thought. Nobody uses EM rifle, especially not players. Gonna spawn at his home or at there? He's gonna spawn at there. Gotcha. I mean, that works for me. Me. Aw. I mean, fair enough. He got me. Oh, gosh. Really? My bots did nothing, like literally actually nothing. You have two minutes on me. <laughs> really? Really? Bro. All I have to do is exist with EM rifles and you automatically win. So, uh, my, <laughs> my mood is now ruined again. I have no, uh, no reason to want to play this game anymore. So yeah, that's where I'm going to call it. Uh, at the end of the day, mechs don't matter. EM rifles do. Just slap EM rifles on whatever you've got. Automatically the best build that you can get. Um, so yeah. Take care. Maybe I will see you in the next one. But otherwise, have a good weekend.